We have lines drawing on the screen now. The next step, learn how to draw rectangles. Where will the code go to draw the rectangles? Let's take a look at what we've got so far. Right here, we fill the screen with white. We don't want to draw our rectangles before this because if we draw it before it, it'll just override it with white. Here we draw the lines that we've got on the screen. If I draw the rectangle between right here, the rectangle will appear underneath the lines if they happen to draw on top of each other. Or if I draw the rectangle here, then the rectangle would appear on top of the lines. The order that things are drawn as far as code goes makes for which items appear on top. A common mistake is to put the drawing right here after the flip. I don't want to do that because if I draw anything after the flip, I'm not going to see it. I want to make sure that I put the drawing for the rectangle right here. I want it to appear on top of the lines, although I'll, I'll really try to get a different place for the rectangles, but before the flip and definitely after the screen clears. The command to draw a rectangle is pygame.drog, very similar to what we just had with line, but instead of line, we're going to have rect short for rectangle. And then I need to tell it what screen I'm drawing on. I need to tell it the color. In this case I'm going to pick black. Then I need a list of four numbers. The first two numbers will be the x, y of where the top left of the rectangle is. I will put that as 50, 50 to begin with. Then I'm going to have the width of the rectangle. I'm going to do 250 pixels and the height of the rectangle need the comma in there. All enclosed in square brackets. Four numbers, x, y of the top left point, the width, and then the height defines what a rectangle is. And optionally, how wide I want that line to be around the rectangle. Let's go ahead and run this. There's the rectangle on our screen. Let's move these numbers around a little bit and see how that changes the rectangle. If I take this out, or if I were to set it to zero, how does that change the code? Now I've got a solid rectangle, and note that it's appearing ahead of the lines, or on top of the lines. If I were to make this rectangle drawn before that for loop, then it would appear underneath the lines. If I make this a 5, I'm going to have a thicker rectangle, and if I make this a 150, it should move the rectangle over to the left. So I do have thicker lines and it moves the rectangle over to the left. I don't particularly like it, but you'll note that Pygame makes thick lines around the rectangle, in my opinion just a little bit buggy because you've got just a little bit of indent here on the corners. And in short, that's how you draw a rectangle. If you want to draw an ellipse, it is really similar to drawing a rectangle. In fact, I'm just going to take this rectangle command, copy it, and paste it right below, and instead of rect, I'm going to put in ellipse. Now when I run the program, you can see how an ellipse is drawn. When you think of how an ellipse is drawn, it is interesting that the point that you specify for an ellipse is the top left corner, but no ellipse actually appears. It's the top left corner of what is normally a virtual rectangle, and the ellipse is contained within the rectangle. With an ellipse, you specify the top left corner, you specify a width and a height, just like you do a rectangle. In this case we have both a rectangle and an ellipse in the same location. The computer will take that width, height, and the top left and draw a and draw an ellipse inside of that rectangle. I can close this out. If I comment out the rectangle, save it and run my program. You can't see the rectangle because I'm no longer drawing it, but that point that I specified for starting the ellipse, let me move this up here, is 150 
50. So 150, 50 is right here, which is not where the ellipse is drawn. It's the top left of a virtual rectangle where the ellipse is drawn inside.